Hello people of the internet, it's been a while since I did one of these. Um, we're filming this during COVID-19 lockdown world panic. Um, so it's all a bit odd, the, our routine's completely out. So I do apologize if um, I haven't posted in what seems like years. Um, this post is a camera, I, it's my most recent camera that I've picked up. Now previously I did say I was gonna do a review of all my cameras that are hidden around my house. Um, but I thought, you know what, why not do this one? This is a really unusual one and you don't see many of these about. It is that. We're gonna have a look today at the Polaroid SX70 Land Camera Sonar One Step. As a quick side note, um, Beard's back. Happy with the beard that he's back. My previous ones, I looked like a 12 year old. Um, so there's no danger of scaring you now. Now this is the big brother of the original SX70 Land camera, which was really popular, mainly because you could fold it as flat as anything and stick it in your bag, your pocket, and carry it around with you. They were really portable. Um, this one was a bit different in terms that it had sonar focusing. So if you look on the front here, you can see a gold disc surrounded by uh, mesh. That is your sonar focus. This was the first Polaroid camera to allow you to focus with sonar, which meant this was the first Polaroid camera that had autofocus, which was pretty cool. Now, sonar focusing was very revolutionary. Um, I don't think they do it anymore. Um, because obviously cameras have autofocus and motors inside the lenses and things. But for Polaroid cameras, this was quite a risk in terms that you were offering Polaroid pictures instant film with autofocus. That was quite a big risk for Polaroid to take. It works by focusing using the red switch here. That focus it focuses your lens on the front. Now, the, how it focuses is quite clever. You've got a sonar that emits sound, uh, sound waves or sonar waves, radar if you like, towards your subject, which then hits the middle area of your subject. So you'll always get the middle focus. You'll never be able to focus around the corners. It'll always be the middle. It bounces from the camera to the middle and back into the receiver. In a split second, it determines that this can focus on it. It's quite a noisy focus as well, but I think it's brilliant, I think it's really cool. To be able to say, oh yeah, my camera focuses with sonar, how often do you get to say that? Now these cameras only work if you have a cartridge installed. This was the one that came in it. Um, I bought this from an antique shop in um, just on the outskirts of Ipswich in Suffolk. And it was empty, um, so there's no film unfortunately to use in this, uh, but it meant that these cameras, their durability was increased because the electronics aren't constantly being fried by batteries. These only work if you have these cartridges and they only work if the contacts in the back, these two little things, are um, in touch with the camera. So if I try and take a picture with autofocus now, you can obviously see nothing, not working. I can focus it manually, if you have a look at the lens, I can, have, I can focus it manually, it takes ages. Um, so if we insert one of these cartridges very carefully, If I try and focus, you can hear it. You might even be able to see the autofocus lens working. How cool is that? Now there's obviously no film to use. So if I was to take a picture, I would normally take the film out then. Um, but I think the sound of it, which is pretty cool. To be able to autofocus a Polaroid camera, that's pretty cool, and it's through here, it's through sonar. The sonar is bouncing from the phone back. Which is really cool. Now these cameras were really portable and really easy to just, they fit anywhere. Um, partly because they collapse themselves, which is really good. So I've taken the cartridge out because we're not gonna use it anymore. Um, if they had filming, you would be able to leave them in, which was one of the bonuses. Um, it's best if you don't leave an empty cartridge in, because it will probably not do your camera any good, because it thinks it's got film and it's always ready to go. So it will probably wear out the wires inside and all the electric gubbins. Um, so you can see here, there's a lever 
on the light on the side of the camera which has a little arrow so if I pull that arrow the right way in high hope there you go you can see it collapse and all you've got to do is push it all down there you go I folded a camera how amazing now to raise these cameras to get them popped up don't just grab and pull because um, the problem with that is I've seen lots of those people do, lots of people do that and um, they've pulled the viewfinders off they've actually pulled the backs off you've got to be really delicate with these you can see on the top here there's some ribbing just on the top of the viewfinder here if you grab that by your fingers and very simply very carefully pull up as pull up as high as you can. That lever then locks in place and you're good to go. Simple as that. Now you can still buy film for these cameras. Um, you can go on the Polaroid website and there's links there to download SX70 film. Um, there's a company called the Original Polaroid Company, I think, um, or something along those lines, the Original Polaroid, where you can order special film made for the Sonar um, edition of this camera. I don't know why it's special. I haven't looked into it that much. Um, but yeah, I think it's great. I think you can, the fact that you can still buy film for these is really, really good. I'll give you a little look around the camera now, um, just so you can see it from all angles. So you have the front here. On the left, you've got the shutter button. You've got your focus ring in the middle there. And in here, you've got your light meter on the, on the camera's left-hand side. Above, you've got a black and white dial that lets you determine the exposure of your Polaroid if you want it to be dark or lighter. Here, on the left, just above the um, shutter button, you've got the manual focus ring. And I don't know if you can see, there's a little like tab lever there. I don't know if you can see it. That's to take out the sonar, so you can disengage the sonar focusing um, if you don't want to do that, if you want a less noisy focus. So you can flip that down and then focus with the manual one. I don't know why you want to do that though, because autofocus, as we all know, is much easier. Now I can't show you very, I can't show you very well here, but um, that's the view through the viewfinder. It's a big square picture, which is great. It's really clear, really crisp. If you don't pull the viewfinder up all the way, you lose the viewfinder, i found. So there's been times I've pulled it up and just not pulled it up enough and have just not had a viewfinder. Because as you can see in here, it's all um, bellowed. Maybe I'll come the other side so you can see it better. Yeah, it's all bellowed so you can see that it's all hidden by um, shutter curtain. If they're not extended properly, then um, you won't be able to see what's outside the camera. Around the back, so excellent instructions from Polaroid, made in America, didn't realise that. As Polaroid, very, very blunt, very, very uh, to the point. I'll let you have a read of those. Now I haven't shot with this one yet, um, partly because of the current climate that we're in, equally because the film is quite expensive. I mean, quite expensive. Um, it's probably as much as what I paid for the camera, um, which isn't great. So one day I will be shooting with this and I'd love to see the results. I do have another Polaroid camera, a more modern Polaroid camera. It's an Instax Mini 90, which is buried somewhere in my house, which I shall dig out eventually. Um, but I'd much rather walk around with this. Not only does it look cool, it is cool. And it shoots with a way that has been lost, really. It shoots with sonar. How cool is that? You can say to my friends, oh yeah, my camera focuses with sonar. And they're left with their annoying autofocus through their motorized lenses. How boring is that? Yours focuses with radar. Yours uses military technology. How cool is that? So yeah, that's the Polaroid SX70 um, sonar one step. Leave a review, comment, like, um, lyrics, whatever you feel preferable, just be nice. And hopefully we'll see you again. Thank you for tuning in. Oh, one more. Don't forget to visit um, on my Instagram page, Camera Collective. It's camera underscore collective um, on the handle. And I also have a Depop shop 
um, so you can buy some of the cameras that I repair, restore, and then I sell them on, or most some of them anyway. So come and check out my Depop shop. If there's anything on there you like the look of, this one isn't for sale, unfortunately. Um, but there's lots of things on there. Should you want to um, window shop or you have money burning a hole in your pocket like I do. So please, yeah, come and give us a visit on Instagram and Depop. And we'll see you soon. Thank you.